I'm Nathan Shearer. I'm a professional triathlete from Melbourne and I got into triathlon on the sunny coast back when I was 23. The thing that I've learned over a long period is how to manage myself in, in a mental capacity. Uh, probably learnt it the hard way to be honest, playing cricket, putting extreme pressure on myself and a lot of external pressure to hit performance based targets that, that were end goals. I think with cricket and I learned this later, I just, I wanted it too much. Like I wanted it so badly that I put so much pressure on myself to achieve that uh, I got to 20 and 21 and it wasn't fun anymore. Like it, it, it sucked, I hated it. I used to dread getting up and going. I was interested in triathlon, but cricket was such a huge focus. And it was when I came back from my last trip to England, I played the summer here. And by the end of summer, I was, I was just hating it. I was burnt out. I was mentally destroyed from it. And I was, I'd been kind of getting into running and um, I'd bought a bike and I was kind of like, oh, you know, I want to give this a go. So I entered Melbourne Ironman for the following year. I'd never done a triathlon yet. And I remember just shitting myself. Almost to the point where on race morning, I didn't go because I was so scared. And um, anyway, I did the race, I had a shocker. And, but what it sparked was like, oh, I, I'm kind of not ready to, to let that be it. Like, you know, it sucked and I was awful and I wasn't as fit as I thought, but I can do this. Been doing it ever since. Um, got in a good group on the coast, got some great advice and some great people around me and then did a few 70.3s, did Melbourne Ironman and that was it, it was hooked. Triathlon was a big shift and I think the thing that worked positively for me was I can control nearly everything in terms of my own performance. I don't have to worry about what 10 other people are doing for us to achieve what we want to achieve. It's literally all on me and I really enjoyed that because I think I could scale it back and not worry about the outcome anymore. It was more about just like, all right, what's the process? What do I need to do right now? I've had some pretty nice like personal achievements I suppose as an age group or an amateur athlete um, and some of those are pretty cool like uh, winning an age group title in Hawaii at Ironman World Champs is probably the biggest one. The biggest highlights would be coaching others to achieve things that they maybe didn't think they could achieve like the big ones Hawaii. I think any triathlete that races uh, beyond the short distances and, and has an eye on Ironman wants to race there and, and you know the reality for a lot of people that do Ironman is that they never will and um, I coach a few athletes who probably thought they were those sort of athletes that they could do Ironman but they'd never necessarily do Hawaii and they have since done Hawaii so. The last three years I haven't really raced and at the start of that three year point, so the end of 2018, like had a pretty big mental breakdown, um, severe depression, anxiety that came with it. Uh, I was living on the sunny coast at the time, trying to basically train and race full time. And physically I was going better than I ever had. Uh, and I was in a great environment with other, you know, elite world-class athletes. And there were days where I literally couldn't get up. Like I just could not leave a bed, but be the house. At a certain point after, it was after 70.3 Sunshine Coast, my coach, he was just like, mate, I think you should go home. Like, I think you need help, basically. You, you, we can tell, like, you, it, it's pretty clear and obvious that you're not okay. I think the biggest change you can make for that is to go home, go back to Melbourne, go back to my partner and life down here and, and kind of see if that, you know, settles things and see if then I can bounce back and 
I went and saw my doctor first, psychologist, was on antidepressants for a couple of years, which I got off at the start of this year. But it was balance. The, the thing that got me back to where I am now is finding balance with life. Some simple advice, don't take it so seriously. And by it, I mean everything.